Welcome everyone. Today I'm going to be blatering a couple of sheep for you all to see. Um, but first, a little bit of a history of sheep in New Zealand. Sheep were first introduced by Captain Cook in 1773. And since then, sheep numbers have continued to increase right through until the 1970s, when there are approximately 70 million sheep in New Zealand. Uh, there are now only about 35 million sheep in New Zealand due to the dairy boom and they're becoming far more cows. Now, uh, in the, back before the 1880s, all sheep had to be shorn with blade shears, which are essentially a very large pair of scissors. Now that's because they didn't have electricity, and then they came up with machine shears like this. In the 1888, the first machines were brought to New Zealand, and by the 1920s, Machine shearing had taken over as a predominant form of shearing. Today there are still approximately half a million sheep shorn in New Zealand with blade shears because it leaves a little bit more wool on the sheep. I'm now going to shear this sheep and demonstrate how sheep were all shorn back before the 1880s. Now shearer's day would start at 7.30 in the morning and they shear through to 5.30 in the afternoon and on a good day a good blade shearer would shear 200 sheep for the day. To shear 200 sheep with blade shears takes about the same amount of energy as running two marathons. So shearing is a very very physical job and because of that Shearers have several breaks through the day. In the morning they start at 7.30, they shear for two hours and they have a half an hour break for smoko. They got shear another two hours and then they have a break for lunch at 12. They shear for two hours and have a smoko and two hours till 5.30 and they have dinner. Now, each of these breaks they almost have a meal because, because they require so much energy to share all day. So most shearing gangs would take a cook with them and they would cook on the farm. Because the shearers, when they went out to a farm, back in the 1800s, they would ride out on horseback and they would stay on a farm until all the sheep were shorn and this could often take well over a week and so they would live on the station while they shore all the sheep there. The shearing gang consists of the shearers who shear the wool off the sheep. We have wool handlers, they take the wool away from the shearer and they skirt it, taking out all of the short and dirty fibres. Then the wool goes to a wool classer and the wool classer's job is to grade the wool. So they decide what grade the wool goes into depending on how strong the fibres are and how yellow the wool is along with many other factors. At this point the wool goes to the presser and the presser bales the wool up in a big press and these bales are usually around about 180 kilograms. All of the jobs in the shearing gang are very physical. The classer is the only person in the shed that is not constantly lifting and throwing and moving objects around, but they have a far more technical job. So normally once the sheep was finished being shorn, the wool would be taken away, but today 
Once I finish this sheet, I'll get everyone to come up and they can have a feel of the wool, a feel of the sheet, and see what the difference is. So if you'd like to come up and feel the shape. <laughs> You'll notice the, the sheath is a wee bit sticky, that's the lanolin in the wool. That helps to push the water away from the skin to keep the sheath warmer. Lanolin is used in a lot of cosmetic products. It's very good for anti-aging creams and moisturizers.